surrounding this fight, and now it is go time. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters, this is just one of those things. And now it's time for our tale of the tape. Riddick Bowe, six foot five, 240 pounds with a reach of 81 inches. Here comes Riddick, Big Daddy Bo. Despite being six foot five inches tall, one of the best inside fighting heavyweights there's ever been. Here comes. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Brooklyn, New York. Here is the Olympic silver medalist and the two-time unified heavyweight champion of the world, introducing Big Daddy Riddick. Expectations are sky high for this fight. Will it live up to the hype? We're about to find out. I'm so giddy, so excited. The anticipation is second to none. Let's get it on. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. There's the bell to start the round. Nice idea with the jab, but does not land. They've got to use their jab better in this fight. The straight right just misses. Counterpunch. Really good buzz in the air tonight. This crowd waiting for something special. You have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this. They love this. They are born for this. You have other fighters where this would be like the rabbit in the headlights. <laughs> What a round so far as we reach the halfway point. The courage on display here is incredible. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Tried to score with a jab. Unlucky to miss with that uppercut. Looking for each other. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Talk about Bo in that last round. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. They ring the bell, and here we go. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. just got rocked oh i heard that never by saw it he's landed everything he's got but he can't get him out of there what recovery skills they are what a shot it was completely gone i thought there's no way he's gonna finish this round but look at that look at the movement look at the speed back on it like it never happened what's caught sleeping on the job what do you do you step back steady yourself recompose yourself and boom back into it do not make those mistakes Place to fall asleep. I've got to pick things up halfway through the round here. Don't get caught up on how many times this guy gets hit. He's a slugger, Johnny, and you know he's just waiting for his opportunity to strike back. Tactics out of the window. These guys just want to brawl.
time they drop their guard, they get caught. That right hook's blocked. They're both trying for a knockout. Swing and a miss with the... It looks like he's going to survive the two here, but just barely. Let's talk about Holmes in that last round. Well, if this trainer has a pep talk, now's the time to use it as they were dropped twice in the last round. Unbelievable heart knocked down twice. Breathe, breathe. Come on. Suck it up. Suck it up. Breathe. You're not tired. You're doing so much work. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Let's see if they can shake off the cobwebs after a disastrous last round. I had no idea what they had left. What? How? How'd you come back from something like that? Not on twice? How, where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. Nice counter shot. Oh, Larry Holmes just got dazed. He's days. Where shall he look? What should he do? Should he run? Should he should he try and hold on? As he survived the storm, he's throwing punches again. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back foot, clear the head a little bit, then jump back into it again. It's all about the hustle. Get back on it. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once. They know they can get caught again. So for now, just defense. Work on defense. Blocking and stopping and shooting. Spider is a swarmer. They're like a mosquito that just won't leave you alone, except this mosquito can knock you out with one punch. A swarmer, a good swarmer, will get inside you like a, like a bee. Like a bee just pick up and stay in here, wherever you leave yourself open. A swarmer is the worst kind of fight to fight. Halfway through the round, and man, these two are going out. Very close match. He shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other, because no one dare do anything out of turn. Misses with that jab. Beautiful counter punch. And he scores with the counter. Beautiful counter shot. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Talk about Bo in that last round. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Suck it up, suck it up, breathe. How many rounds do we spar at the gym? How much work have you put in it? Listen, you're not tired. You think they're tired, but you're not tired. You've done so much. You're not tired at all. You get your second win back out there. Just go out there and just box in. Don't be stupid. Don't be trying to bomb him out and tire yourself out even. How much work have you put in the gym? All your training you've done, all your sacrifices, you get your breath back, and then we'll go again the round after that. Don't worry about it. Get your second win back out there. Just go out there now and just box in. Don't be stupid. Get, get your breath back. Listen, you're not tired. You think you go out there boxing. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Missing with the left hook. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. Incredible firepower from both of these heavyweights. Way through the round and it's pretty much even Steven. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. 
Missing with the hook. How about that time counter shot? Those counter punches have to hurt. Do you believe this? Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Misses with that jab. How about that time counter shot? Let's talk about Bo in that last round. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. Listen to me. Breathe, breathe. Come on. Suck it up. Suck it up. Breathe. How many rounds do we spar at the gym? How much work have you put in it at that? Listen, you're not tired. You think you're tired, but you're not tired. And there's the bell to start the round. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've got in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? One punch could change everything in this battle. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Catch and shoot. As we enter the final frames of this bout, Johnny, what have we seen so far? It's the one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you've hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Beautiful counter punch. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. Defense is not an option for these two. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's talk about Bo in that last round. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. The bell, sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest. They ring the bell and here we go. Coming off a very tough round, let's see what they do here. This is one of those situations, you've just been hurt, you've got to get out there again. Be smart, be sharp, don't be a fool, don't get suckered in. Make him fight, your fight. Hold him. Oh, Larry Holmes on the back foot. His legs have gone, he's got to get a hands up. It's survival instincts now, get him up. That was not a good moment for him, but seems like he's out of the dark place. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. Oh, Larry Holmes now, but still trouble. Oh, what? Way through the round and they've got some work to do to get back into it can't believe they managed to beat the count but that could be the last hurrah oh he's small blood look at that he's put in that once he knows what shot works and where to land it then try and do it again he's just not gotta get trigger happy somebody can smell blood here they can smell blood they've got to be smart get in there then boom back in the same spot again it happened once you got away with it you can do it again
like to see more jab. I think he's an assassin in some trouble here. Bambi legs are kicking in. Look at those legs. The legs have gone. Let's talk about Holmes in that last round. Beaten, bruised, and battered, but somehow he's still in it. They believe their fighter has it in the tank. And there's the bell to start the round. Is this the beginning of the end after two knockdowns last round? Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that. That's near on impossible because your head must be all over the place. Your legs are feel like jelly. What can they tell you in the corner? All they can do is wake you up. They can't even go into gameplay. Both looking for the knockouts here, and that's what we expect from heavyweights. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Which fighter will say no moss? Not a lot of push output. Thought there might be more action here. Good fight so far. Both of these fighters have had their moments. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable. Drag them. Get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Missing with the rush. Larry Holmes now stumbling backwards. Does he know he's hurt him? Look at him. Wise decision to take a knee here and get that mandatory eight count. What you're seeing right there is a heartbroken fighter. Very close. Let's talk about Bo in that last round. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. I seriously... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Coming off that great round, see if they can build on momentum here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that. Look down. Straight right, just misses. They are giving us a high tempo show. Big Larry Holmes got. through the round and I think he knows he's got a lot of work to do. How about that will to win and refusal to stay down as this fight continues? Hard, he's up. I, I, I'll be surprised if he makes it back to the corner. And if he does, will he get back up from the stool again? That was a shot. Got to waste time. Get step behind the referee. When he comes across, tie him up. The referee's then got to call you. Walk around the ring. You've just got to make the most of it. Because if you let him jump back on you again, he's going to get momentum and pull you down again. And that's a lot of points for losing him. One. 
Some might have thought the fight a little bit closer, but the judges are in agreement. A unanimous decision win. They've done it before. Now they're doing it again. And look what's happened. A unanimous decision. What a way. What tactics. What a game plan. What a result.